see in the marketplace is that customers are at different levels of maturity on their cloud journey and what's driving that cloud migration journey and what that will be down to is applications and certainly the customers that I speak to when we look at their applications they're looking to categorize those applications typically using the 5R model so they're looking to refactor, re-architect, re-host or retire those applications and when customers have migrated workload to the cloud you know some of that's been very successful but where we see challenge is not so much in the technical movement of the workload it's in the non-technical challenges and typically those challenges are around cost around value around people and around time and we think the azure vmware solution plays a critical role in helping customers to accelerate their journey to cloud with azure vmware solution we don't have to refactor and re-architect the application. So if you look back at that 5R models, the area that people get tripped up on the most is in the refactoring and the re-architect and the cost and the time it takes to do some of those activities. And with AVS, that issue is simply removed. So now we can move workload from on-premise into the cloud at great velocity. It means that we can also keep our existing operating model that we have in place today. And because we've got our workloads moved from on-premise into uh, Azure, we can also start looking at all the great Azure services that we have. So we can expose our applications in what I call hybrid deployment application scenarios. But AVS is more than just uh, a cloud migration tool. We can also use the Azure VMware solution for hosting Horizon desktops, for providing data center expansion from on-premise. We can use it for disaster recovery. So we think no matter what your requirement is for getting stuff to cloud, we think that the Azure VMware solution can support that. And Andy, I think you've made some great points there. And, and just touching on the use cases, where we find, I guess, the, the, the most common use case that we work from at Microsoft is large data center exits, especially those where you have a hard and fast date, say the next 12 to 24 months where you need to move out of your data center. Traditionally, looking to move onto native IaaS and PaaS services when exiting the data center isn't possible. Using Azure VMware solutions, using HCX, not only are you able to move at pace, you're able to keep your IP addresses so you don't need to go into the deep analysis that you need to do traditionally. So you buy yourself time, it gives you that velocity to move your, move your workloads over, but also lowers that risk because you're keeping your IPs. And I guess the other point to mention here as well is because you're using the same VMware skill sets, the same VMware tools, um, you're, you're able to run that environment like you do traditionally. So consider it a VMware environment hosted in an Azure data center. So you buy yourself time to upskill, learn how to use uh, the, the Azure portal CLI if you need to, and um, essentially give yourself a lot more time to be able to um, you know, re re retrain your staff. Um, and I guess the final point here is that it makes the cloud more accessible because you're able to use that same skill set, you're able to move into the cloud a lot sooner than you might have traditionally been able to. Mm -hmm.